Happy God's Day times two, everybody. Hey, y'all. It's, it's, uh, it's stream time. We're, we're here with, uh, Battle Network 5. Yeah. Um. Hey, how you doing? I need to remember where we left off. <laughs> okay, I'm All also right. trying to think about Let's it. Go. Number man. Okay, yeah, 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 because, uh, we're recruiting, uh, Higsby. Yeah, we're recruiting Higsby. Under totally not suspicious circumstances. Yeah, we're in a new area. We're, we're, we're in end area, which is where we're in. Yeah. Hanging out now. Um, all right, I used, uh, Dark Recover, and it sucked real bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we have Mega Band back. Um, we also have a new ability to use dark chips uh, in fun and silly ways. And a bonus folder. I should mess around with that some more. But yeah, so we, we now can like use a dark chip like in a small way without like losing HP uh, but also maybe we get our ass kicked by Mega Dark Mega Man when he shows up it's fine yeah Chaos Union is really really cool because it incorporates dual souls which are already like the base game mechanic yeah and gives us a way to like tap into uh, dark chips without actually having to commit to any permanent damage. Right. Like, it's not as, as free, uh, you know, able to, oh boy. Right. Beat ears. Um... We have these weird panels. <gasps> yes! Asteroid 1. Oh, fuck. <laughs> alright, alright. We need to quick go see what T I looks like. I think you have, like, a uh, good T stuff. I think we have a couple. I think we were, like, I think we were looking for, like, another chip or two. Yeah, because we have Pulsar, Time Bomb. That's it, actually. It's Pulsar and Time Bomb, huh? <laughs> we are looking for some more stuff to fill this out, and this is a really good one to do so. Um, neither of these are usable, though, right? Like, this is... Um, this would have been Gyro, and this would be... Uh, Aqua. Well, actually, no. That was four. I don't know. I know this, this one. one. The not, are all in neither of these are usable for what we have right now. So, <laughs> all caps. Oh, hey. Uh, please tell me I have... Okay, cool. Thank goodness. Yeah, all right. That's a uh, that's thing. V isn't, like, a huge code, but Versword can do some work. But yeah, so, right now, we are, as for what we're doing, we're in, um, we're in End Area 4, which is the, the net of End City, um, and we are setting up to, to clear Nebula out of, the sec out of the rest of this area and try to push them so that all they have left is the Undernet of this area. So, um, we are going to, at the end of N4, to try to see if we can't take out N5. That's what we left off on. Okay, so, uh, this, this game's regional undernet is insane. I'm sure. I, I, that's what I'm guessing. Uh, if I throw this, we're good, right? Yeah. Like, 
Is end city just den city, but... Like, next door? Because, like, end city has, um... End city has a big old castle. I mean, Electopia also had a big cat. Well, d d different cats. Different cats. Because, like, this is Theirs a... didn't have a gargoyle on it. Yes. Oh. All right, that's where we gotta go. Okay. Ooh, what? Hey, hold on. Hey, buddy. We got a funky friend. I want to use more of these punches. They're, they have some codes that seem useful. Uh huh. <laughs> you 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 got it, bud. It's wood nose. Yo! Okay. Spin yellow. Does that change up? We're not currently using yellow, but it, that actually heavily shifts our ability to use it because we can use collect now. One of the problems with um, yellow or with collect was that putting it on the bar was either this or this. Oh, is, is End City supposed to be, like, Edo? Endo City. That's it. Okay. But yeah, we can use this, like, now if we want. Um, but I can't use Collect with this on. Hmm. Heads up, there's an optional navigating battle in this little path and end area if you want. Uh, is it this end area or another end area? Thank you for this. And I can't... Use attack max as well. The rotation actually makes these... I'm gonna keep this as is. Cause, well, actually, Mega Folder isn't really... Okay, hold on. Okay, probably a joke on Edo, given that it's a yeah. council town built around yeah. council. That's what I thought. Like uh, Endo, like Endo being the, the the translation, so Edo, and then mm -hmm. from there. Um, I right, hold on. If I go remove everything, I'm just gonna remove it all, and then we go like collect and Buster Pack. And two, maybe? Okay. We'll, we'll do some looking around the areas, then. Um... I think it's sort of my custom gauge. I don't... Like, I really want to be able to run custom with this, but this just can't... There's no setup where custom and collect can overlap. You know? We just don't have the room yet in the uh we need a we need a, a row or column added. Then I'll cancel. Haven't been around for five, how things been going? Things have been going pretty great. Uh we spend a good amount of time playing as Colonel. Um I appreciate the ability to play as other navvies a lot. Uh, I think that's, like, one of the biggest things that this game, like, offers uniquely. It's like, yo, just go ahead and play as Nightman or play as Shadow Man or, you know, uh, and they get to have, like, you know, their own uh, chip that's always in their uh, regular slot. And, uh, 
this is on top of the Double Souls and the uh, and the new stuff that they uh, did with Dark Chips. Like all of the systems are really cool. Yeah. Uh, okay, I don't. And also very like we're sorry about Battle Network Four. We'll do better next time. And oh boy, did they. <laughs> I also do appreciate that we are back to, like, having... Uh, can I pass an important blue material you must need help out on? No. We're good. <laughs> I appreciate it, but no. Yeah, I really like li Liberation Missions. I think they're cool. Liberation Missions, I think, are I, really fun. Yes. My, my, the one, so, my one takeaway that I, as we've been doing these, that I think is, like like weaknesses of liberation missions uh twofold one their length as we've been going they've been getting more and more lengthy and i can see that becoming like boy howdy can that get that, that could get overwhelming and the the second one i find this one a bit more of an issue because it's an extension of an issue i had for in four um in four uh there were so many of these like set battles that just give gave no rewards and every liberation mission is that. Like, there are rewards and chips on the overworld, but you do, like, 20 fights and get nothing for it. And, like, I think that sucks. Like, that, if, if I'm pointing out a weakness in, in liberation missions, that's the big weakness I'm pointing to. No money, no bump trucks, no chips. Yeah. Uh, we're not in post game yet. We are just a, a Higsby just uh, was Higsby pulled, pulled in, us, yeah. and we're like, hey, we need, we need, we need a number cruncher, and Higsby's like, yeah, I'm here. So, ah, so the this. big thing about liberation missions too is that um, they are doing something that I actually have not seen the uh, series do much of up to this point, which is encourage you to build different folders. Because Liberation Missions uh, have a very different battle flow from normal play, where you're encouraged to make folders that are going to get the job done in like one turn, three turns. Whereas uh, you don't really have that, um, that restriction hovering over your head in normal play. Yeah. And also, it can get in the way of normal play sometimes because of the way that uh, battles and uh, areas can shake out. Yeah, there so are... it is really neat having, like, the uh, incentive to create multiple folders that handle different situations. Yeah, like, one of the things there, like, obviously, there, there's, um, like, you you want to finish all fights fast, so, like, that overlaps normally, but, like, the way that there's incentive changes in specifically in like um uh uh speed versus like custom gauge i think is super cool um oh, i'm not gonna be able to take that okay nope that was too early we also are encouraged to use letters that we normally would have never touched because they're, you know, usually kind of dinky, and most of the other yeah. games have their, uh, clear biases towards specific letters. Yeah, we have ours as well. I mean, we're on S, I... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but, like, this is, this is still But it's user. also just like, uh, it is not just a question of, like, can we even make T work? It's just like, oh, okay, let's see what we got into. Like, as though T could be viable at the drop of the hat, and not just be like, uh, this is, this landed in T. Well, I guess I'll try to make that work. Yeah, reason to use slow gauge outside of, like, is, is really cool. Another thing that bothers me is you don't really learn how to fight the bosses properly you do the weird format of liberation boss missions. True, the, like, I, I, you mean, like, in the sense that, like, a boss fight never goes longer than 30 seconds? Like, you, you can't have a drawn-out fight under lib missions because of the three-turn clock. 
so you don't get stuff like base or serenade, like like that level of fight, which I don't know if we'll see that in, in, in post-game or what the... Obviously, part of that solution is that those systems still exist in this game, um, where you can... F like, to my knowledge, you can still find navvies in the overworld and such. We just haven't found them yet. Yeah, 30 seconds is what you have to do for an S rank, but some of the, like, mechanics of a fight, like, take place over multiple, you know what I mean? Like, um, if you look at the rotation on some fights, they, they, they can be a longer rotation than that. Because you, you, and, and like, you, you get interrupted on learning. Again, these are all things I can understand as, like, bits that like, ah, okay, this is why liberation missions don't work out for me. Uh, oh, can I? Oh boy. Well, what was this? Okay. Well, that's fine. Yeah, it's gotta be where a ghost lives. Um, can I? J no, right, Django doesn't work in, um, Get back around. I think it was down this way. Yeah, down this way and around. I want to get up on this higher ground. Yeah, because Django works like an Anubis. Turn on collect. Oh well. Duh, don't know what you're talking about, Ozomagia. Ask that folks stop mentioning things that haven't occurred yet. <laughs> I find that really annoying. <laughs> we play like, like really please, cool. We're, like, we we please, just want to explore the game on our own merits. <laughs> please. I, I I feel like I make this pretty apparent in most things, but it's like today has been like four of these. <laughs> Is this the, the whatever? Alright, another weird corner. that the fact that we've played through so many of these means that you can trust that we will continue to play through them and find things. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there eventually. <laughs> we just like to do that at our own pace. Um... Uh, is that anything? No, that's absolutely nothing. Very obviously on... Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. N. For no. 
All right, what's up here? Okay, cool. Yeah! Dumber Ram. Hey, buddy. It's a little weird to have Number Man looking directly into the camera. Like, everyone else's portrait is, like, offset. And Number Man is, like, eyes directly into you. Yeah, it's a little strange. I think that might also just kind of be, like, a uh, <laughs> side effect of also being the shopkeep, in a way. Look, you're not command. <laughs> Look, number man. All right, thank you. We're very happy to have you here. Uh, stop it. <laughs> okay, we got the squad. We are all literally physically together for this. This isn't VR chat where you're trying to like wrangle a bunch of folks in here for Tuesday night. It's just like, oh no, sorry, man, I can't. I can't. I something come up at work. I gotta go. Like, D and D. No. D and D. In Team Proto Man instead of Number Man, you get search right here, and the plot makes a lot more sense because. Rika gets up. Because he's an agent for a foreign uh, yeah. country. Yeah, so he gets called in on, like, a high-priority mission or something, rather than, I, I, I need somebody to walk me across the street. <laughs> Man. <laughs> like, you, thanks me, you, you, sometimes you gotta say you're busy. With, like... Alright. Everything's a bust. Get out of here, ever folks. <laughs> All right, everybody, everybody, keep yourselves loose and limber for tomorrow. <laughs> Let's go ruffle through our dead stuff. All right. Oh, right. We never got an opportunity to investigate the crime scene. We, we basically didn't. No, don't do that. No. <sighs> I wanted to... Okay. There was more of the area I wanted to go... Back to Disneyland. <laughs> oh god, okay, so if I want to go back there... Through end area... Betting back there, the game's not stopping me. We'll go to Dad's lab when I feel like it. Oh, actually... I love putting them in the coffin and just having them go straight to hell. It's always a treat. 
No, I was gonna go check this out. Nope, nothing new. Okay. I'll have to go check out the boards that, like, are at uh, our friend's place and see if they have stuff, too. The 419 physical. <laughs> I could have loaded and fixed that, but I thought it was funnier to keep it as 419. 419, here's a burnt crumb no, of a nug that no, I have in the back. No, don't blaze it. <laughs> Do not. You can't. You can't blaze it. It's all blazed out. <laughs> Big money. Oh, we have for cash. 24,000. Okay. That's like good, but could be better. Um, I want to go to Psy 4 and then back to Oran 2, and then we get to go to End Area. Because we don't have an entrance to End Area yet, like real. Which is a bit of a pain. Alright. We are getting more goodies, though. I mean, if we can just get a bunch of money from here, I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah, that's something. That's big money. Okay. All right. That's the side. Let me go around the other way. Fine. <laughs> I love air hockey puck so much. It's just going like it's cute. Yeah, it turns out eating pizza is all well and good, but uh, now I have to deal with the after effects. No, you're still on lunch. Um, no, lunch is finished. Now I have to fight lunch. In the sense that my uh, throat is constantly congealed, so I have to clear it. Oh, okay. I... Yeah, pizza is worth it. I'm not going to complain about that. Punch. But I do have to talk for two more hours, so, you know, I'm trying to stay at least somewhat professional. I think millions was the thing I wanted out of this. So we need six more Bufros. That shouldn't be too bad. Every once in a while I keep forgetting about Bufros and then Bufros get brought back up again. I'm just like, oh shit, Bufros! I know, right? Yeah. Always, th <laughs> always thinking about, always thinking about them Bufros. This area, I just need to get into like the center over there, which is up and around this way. I think I can just do this actually, this should just clear it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Good. 
stop getting boofers boofing. Land, no. Land, you have to stop. <laughs> Alright, then it's like up and around here. And now we can take the, the shortcut. Land, your power sucks so fucking much. I hate it when you do it. Stop <sighs> using it. Two games now, and like most powerful thing in our arsenal, it's still just call up Django and, and use use his stuff. Hey, that's that's Django's fault for cameoing in three games. Okay, so here we are. Well, no, not yet. That's just the power of Django. I know it's. Wild. <laughs> Hop. Okay. game being a gigantic apology for four is the fact that we actually got to properly fight Shade Man. Right? And like, on on top of that, like, look, Regal's just here. What's Regal? Oh my god, right, sword. What's Regal? How did Regal get back? Don't ask. Just, just don't. Don't worry about it. Somehow Regal returned. Conclusion, there was a Regal. Hmm. This is awkward. Uh, it should copy the actual damage you deal, like, so if it's doubled, it'll still be doubled. Alright, so I just need to scan hit this. Yeah, there we go. And our goodie? Yes! Boofros. Alright, that's what we're looking for, very specifically. Alright, so this is our area we had before. I have to remember where how we get through this one, but this is the um This is the last liberation mission we had. How's Battle Network been going? Pretty good. Yeah, good times. Here's all my swords. For fighting a bat. Was the barrier here and then down this way, or no? This was... okay. This is where we got the barrier keys. Got it. <laughs> we just released the bubbles and it's a perfect clear. Well, thanks for the meteors. Alright. Love it. Yeah, we got two asteroids now. And now we're on the lookout for, like, more things to use with them. Yeah, that's a vertical. Like, um... Specifically, they're on T-code. 
which we have a couple things on, but we need to, like... First, we need to get the rest of the meteors. We need more than just one. Oh, right. That was another dark chip. And we can't go this way yet, so that's fine. Yeah, we need to get more meteors, so we need more of these to show up for us. Isn't Tomahawk Man, like, insanely good on Hot Styles? Yeah, like, like, because Tomahawk Man is grass as element, so... Yeah. We can put in more cacti balls. Okay, this area is end three. I want to get to end four because there was a different way for me to go that we didn't get to take, and that's what I'm after right now. Yeah, the problem with BBC Sherlock is they didn't explain it either. Oh, the, the, the how Sherlock survived in the books? I, I don't. No, no, no! How he survived in the uh, second season? I don't think it was. I don't think it was explained in either. Nope. Like no, I mean uh, I, extremely. No, I mean in the books either. Like it was just like. Oh, in the books, I yeah, yeah, that, 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 that's fine, that's fine. But also, just like uh, unlike the book, Sherlock is a uh, badly written piece of media. So. <laughs> well, I, I I just mean that like there, there, there's there's neither of them have that because in the in the books it's uh like basically Sherlock and Moriarty uh, fight and fall off the waterfall. Yes, but it, it, everyone it, thought that he was dead for ten years. But I, I mean, more from a perspective of like Arthur Conan Doyle didn't want to write Sherlock anymore, and right killing off the character was the the like, well, I can't do it, and then uh, and then it was like, well, no, um, I need money, like <laughs> the, the, this pays the, <laughs> this pays the bills of, effectively. It, it is it is coming from a more understanding um, uh, an understanding perspective as opposed to like uh, Stephen Moffat just being like yeah no I just wanted like a cool cliffhanger no I didn't think about what I was going to do after that. there we go talk Yeah, the, the the difference is that uh, one of those two doesn't explain it, the other makes you look like an ass for asking for a reason why. Yeah. Not this way. Oh, God. This area, I, I do not yet have a mental map of, and it's a bit of a pain to, to navigate. Just... Perfect. I can throw a lot of shit at, at uh, BBC Sherlock. Shrug. I, I don't have enough time in my life to hate. I ain't a hater. <laughs> like, like, the, the, I, like, like, yeah, bad things exist. Cool. Shrug. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's like, a, it, yeah, I like. Uh, I agree that it is not in a from a position of like 
um, I hate this and I can't get it off my chest. It's more like, yeah, I can make fun of it for a bit. I don't, I tr I also don't have the capacity to just hate random crap anymore. But I will make fun of it just to give myself a laugh. I'm just gonna keep doing dark events. It'll win this fight sooner or later. <laughs> It'll win this fight sooner or later, I swear. Roll 20. Nope. That ain't it. Oh, God. Yeah, sure, whatever. We'll win, it'll win it sooner or later. <laughs> Mega Man. Yeehaw. <laughs> <laughs> well. Okay, that's the way back. Okay, this is the way on. Got it. Yeah, the, the timing is not consistent, like, in the, in the sense that it stays, like, on-off, on-off, or something like that. It changes based on uses and, like... Like, it, 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 it's not free, and sooner or later you'll miss it. Yep. No! You jerk. I wanted that green data. No dark and fizz this time. Is that enough? No, we need two more boofras. Okay. Cool, cool. So there's the castle. the way on. Wasn't ready on that one. Okay. Um, the area. Oh, this is just a round. Okay. Okay, whatever. Fine. The reason I want to come back here is because on that top floor there was a, a down right, and I didn't know where that down right was going to go, and it very clearly is just a loop around. Right. So. Alright, whatever, let's go, let's go find Dad's photos. We'll go find Dad's research. We'll go find Dad's, uh... Mixtape. You now possess Dad's rib. Alright, Dad, what's on your mixtape? All you gotta do is just find Dad's five body parts and then burn them in the church. Right. And then you fight death for some reason. Wait, hold on, hold on. 
I need to have a chat with Scilab Security. Why is our dad's ID still active? What? We're using it to... Oh my god. There's a mega chip you can get in this game called Number Ball that launches five balls. Deals damage equal to the last two digits. Ah, okay, so we can always have 9-9 nine, nine instead of 0-0. Zero, zero. Oh, hey, Higsby. I'm sure that's not important. <laughs> I'm sure... Yeah, I'm sure they don't have any security issues, I say. All right. He's just going to the gift shop. The power's on and I have... Okay, maybe they did disable the ID. The power's on and I have Dad's ID, but how do I get back to Tokyo? There must be a powerful security feature. All right, well, it's time to oh, hack God. Style Lab. Oh, fuck. God. <laughs> oh, sorry. Was that actually really loud? <laughs> Holy fuck, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that was actually loud. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I, it's just like, I always do that, you know? It's just like, I always lean into the mic and it's like, oh, well, time for a good bit. Like, oh, wow. Ooh, sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Who could possibly hack in? We need someone who can understand the data. Hey Higsby, you used to work with a terrorist organization. You want to hack into Scilab? Higsby, where are you at? Make sure nobody suspicious gets in here. Yeah, so, this is a, a, a fun bit, like, like, so, okay, this game has, like, we're on Team Colonel, and there's Team Proto Man, and, like, we kind of keep the same structure between both, um, both games, but we have set up the structure so that there are two different skeleton keys to every puzzle, um, because, like, Here's one of the, uh, um, when we go on the boat, for instance, the boat is set up and, like, specifically is like, ah, this is a boat for, like, rich, uh, folks and diplomats from other nations. Because that way we can talk to Princess Pride or, uh, the, uh, lady who's going to have Magnet Man, uh, who's running the, the company in, uh, her husband's stead. Uh, Dad's yeah, because her we, husband. I, 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 I don't. I don't know who that guy was. who died on plane, sir, not appearing in this film. Yeah, well, like, we didn't play that one, so I, I, I don't know who that character is. Uh, but whomever it is, like they're they're like okay, see, like we we have we're setting up. Uh, okay, father. All right. Um, like we we set up these like skeleton key bits where it's like okay, uh, and some of them work better than others. Um. Here, it's like, okay, we're, we need somebody to, like, hack into this building and, and crack a passcode. Number Man's going to be able to do that way better than, like, Search Man, uh, narratively. Um, but Search Man getting called away to do a, a mission rather than Higsby getting called to walk the dog, like, some, way yeah, better. It works right? better narratively for Search Man. So, like, we, we have some of these bits where they play out, like, similarly, but, like, because of the character we have slotted in, it makes more sense. And then there's stuff like uh, Search Man skulking around uh, Scilab, which is just like, uh, <laughs> yeehaw, that's yeah, asking yeah. for a foreign incident. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I am certain they 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 
don't just like you know we're, we're, we're playing colonel here so we're seeing this side of it um um <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> Whenever there's anybody who has no issues at all, I I say aloud, no, everything's fine. Actually, while we're here, hold on. We are right near the ship. You remember the time a foreign agent caused an international incident because he was too stuffy? Stop giving me copies of Shade Man I can't use. No. This banner sucks. It's all dupes. Can't even use them. All right. <laughs> Search man fits way better in this scenario than like Napalm Man in the boat. Yeah, certainly. Uh, like, oh, I'm, what I'm saying is that like the design is like. Well done for what our, our our limitations are, where it's like we need to slot in these two kind of on a similar vein. But, but like, no matter what, you're going to have like bits where that works really cleanly and bits where that just like doesn't. <laughs> you know? It also um, it also unveils a lot of um, the potential biases that uh, went into writing the scenarios because. The ones that write, the ones that uh, fit very cleanly, um, could potentially be the ones that were written first, and then afterwards that are just like, okay, we have to justify it for someone else. This is your dad's lab. In other words, it's one of the most highly secret places of Electopia. Uh huh. <laughs> Surely. <laughs> <laughs> that that's not how <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> Teammates <laughs> We're we are getting we are getting so played right now by like a pretty a pretty bad spot Roger Bigsby, you don't have security clearance. Being my friend isn't all that's needed. I implore you to reconsider. Mm, okay. <laughs> One item of text data. Ah. Read it. To my son. Oh. Gramps, huh? Take care of my fucking cat. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was like ASCII art that didn't like format right because like the years have changed <laughs> oh right that thing that I stopped our hugely important top secret mission for Yeah, 
Yeah, it says foreign servicemen. So like, we have like the 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 script written for uh, Rika here, but like, yeah, because Higsby's not a foreigner, but he wouldn't have clearance anyway. He's a civilian. But like, yeah, so like, you, it, but like it, we can see that this was a scenario with Searchman primary, right? Like, yeah. So then, like again, the word um, changes from primary to justify if that makes sense but like number man fits in it and that like oh we're we're hacking and such number man actually fits a little better than like search man just mentally yeah so like it, it's not like one is just like ah here's the the the, the, the clear better lock on here's the, the canonical team. version well we keep swapping between like <laughs> Like, weird thing about having two versions when there, there's actually, like, ma like, okay, all the previous versions, um, like, the, like, the three has a version split and it doesn't matter. Right? Like. Right. Because, because of, it's effectively an upgrade from the previous version. Yeah, and, like, they're, like they're, they're going full Pokemon on it. Yeah. Right, there aren't, like, changes in the plot, there are just some, like, changes in, like, uh, Giga Chips and like Mist Man v Bull Man and like a couple other a, a couple other smaller things. Four has like the um you have a different set of mini narrative bits. Um but like because of the way four is structured, it's it's like a little weirder. It, 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 it's more than three, but less than what we have here, where every single scenario is a kind of different scenario because of the, the characters we have jumping in and out of them. Even though they're the same scenario, like... <laughs> it... These are... This is fine, basically. Like, for five... I... I, 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 I accept it more yeah. than I did with 4, because 4 is like a million different scenarios because of the way that the entire game was structured as a whole. These are just like two parallel scenarios that are based on the version that you're playing. But yeah, I, I have played 6, yes. Uh, I have uh, my copy of Falzar right here. Um, I've only played and Falzar. I haven't. Um... Okay, what is this? We got... Okay, so we have we have some sort of clue that's in on this. All right. Oh, it's it's the letters in the... Okay. All right, hold on. It's... This is, like, the, the letters in the sentences, and then, like, um... Like, this is one, this is two, or... And then this is the, the key for one, this is the key for two. Alright, I need to... Hold on. Okay, so... First line, it's first letter, eighth letter, twelfth letter? Second line, it's... 11, 12, 13. Third line, it's 7 and 14. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, please. So this is D E C. And then. Oh crap, do. Uh, do. Um. All right, hold on. We can we can figure out the answer to that. Oh no, these aren't. Oh, these aren't direct. The spaces and the um. The spaces and the punctuation count as characters here. No, they don't. Hold on. Oh, this is. Okay, I have, the, the fact that I have to keep going back and forth between two different things and I can't see both at the same time 
is very bad for my own like ability to do this because I I need to be able to see both sides of this in order to like mentally it doesn't exist if I don't see the other side you know what I mean like I I, I just can't do this like uh, so you'll you're gonna have to give me a moment I need to like just take four screenshots that's the only way I'm gonna be able to solve this um. This was actually uh, one of the things that got me completely turned off on Dicey Dungeons. Um, I Really? Yes. Uh, Dicey Dungeons had like a, um, I think it's The Witch, where like you have, like, maybe this was changed in a patch, but like you had a... a um, like you, know, you had you had like one through six where you could place all your dice for like different spells for the witch, but in order to see what the spells did, you had to go to a different menu, and you couldn't mm -hmm. put the dice in there and see what they did, or read the text from the same menu that you put the dice in to know what went to wit which. So my brain just could not understand what anything was because I couldn't see it on the same screen as where I was using it. And so it was just Yeah, I legit do not like it, Witch as a it, character. It was completely it was, like, it, it was enough to just completely make me drop the game because I just couldn't under I was like, I don't understand this. I can't understand this. The the interface is making this impossible for me to play, so I had to drop the game. Like I felt really bad about it because the game is super cool, but like I couldn't play it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, um, every other character yeah, like every other character and it, pretty it, simple to grasp. The witch, fucking incomprehensible yeah. entirely because and, the menus are so blocky. Right, and, and yeah, it was specifically because the information in the menus was not there for me to be able to understand how the character worked because of... And this is exactly the, the thing. If I wanted to understand the witch, I had to like make my... I would have had to do something like this. And this sucks. This isn't good. Yeah. What I'm what I'm doing right now, you can't see what I'm doing. Uh it's it's you like it. You know what? Hold on. You, that's something I can fix. Hold on. Hold on. For what it's worth, uh the oh. witch I also just think the witch sucks to play in general and is where a lot of runs go to die. I I I don't know if they do or do, for for me because I don't uh it, for me like it wasn't anything about the power or how how the class worked. It was I couldn't understand it. Yeah, 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 like, that is probably one of the big things about it, is just that it is, like, okay, so, very, like, hard to, like, do anything with it, because of both the way that it is presented and the way it is executed. Okay, so we want, um... So there are one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. There's 19 characters in spot one. One, two, three, four, five. So we are counting spaces, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're counting spaces and punctuation here. Oh, okay. Uh... This puzzle has a lot of problems. This has, for, for one, um, this actually might be a problem with the legacy collection. I want you to take a look at this. Um, what, so let's, let's take a look at the verticals. You can see here, like they line up because like it, it, it it's like a, a, what is it? Monospaced. Like every character is the same, yes. is the same, um, like, like spacing. And so that's very important for a puzzle where we need to hit things like this. But once you take a look at this end punctuation, look at where our next sentence starts. All of a sudden, what is this? What character is this? Are these lined up? Does the G apply to the Y, the O? Is it the I or the S? Like... The, the 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 specific font is actually hindering what we're doing here. It's 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 bad. Um, I believe that this should be here. Uh, 
And then I believe is the rest of this good? It looks like it's just the the ending punctuation here. Okay. All right, so we are looking for pop dog Yeah, it's a space and a half, not two space. How? Uh huh. And then it's. Uh, and then. Once we have it spaced up, it's actually, like, pretty easy to do. You see how, like, I can just, like, overlay this mentally onto this, and, like, the letters line up. But we have to fix the kerning on the sentence first. <laughs> um, and then in, in, in the second one, let's go ahead and move this one up to just like, voop, like this. So we, we want... Out... Uh, uh, uh. Grandpa here, you're making a lot of assumptions. <laughs> Is this the use for the Game Boy printer? Yeah. Anyway. So we got to go to the Outback Doghouse. That's right. Doesn't the doghouse keep changing every kitten? No, no, there's two doghouses. Um, okay. There's a, so there's a doghouse that actually has been there, like, every game. In the window, out back in the, of the house, like... That isn't the doghouse that's out front. There's two doghouses. Onionman.exe. Tornado Tunyon. Are, are we Tunyoning? This castle has two layers. Um. I do wonder, like, hey, hey, like, like Gramps assuming we will never move out of our house. <laughs> like. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so there's front doghouse, but there's also. A secret doghouse back here. Like, we can't touch it or see it. But you can see. Oh my god, that was there. Yes, that's been there like forever. And it's always been weird because there's this doghouse, but that's not this doghouse. Nobody I mean, asked why they have two doghouses? We always asked why they have two doghouses. We never got an answer. And we never have a dog! <laughs> this doghouse. Oh my god, okay. Um, Back to the coal mine. Gow. Cleans the air, so we need we we need the air conditioner at the coal mine. All right. Hey mom, how's it going? Hey, you seen Higsby around? No reason. I gotta say, our mom has nerves of steel. <laughs> she, she, she is very good at putting on a, a, a strong front for us, specifically, you know? Dad's, mm -hmm. Dad's been literally goddamn kidnapped. Alright, so we need the air conditioner. 
Also, hopefully the abandoned coal mine hasn't been touched in the last decades. <laughs> Dad, you, <laughs> grand, Grandpa, your puzzle sucks. What if, like, the, imagine building a geocache for, like, 30 years from now, but it's, like, based on, like, things that, like, construction equipment that's clearly never gonna move, right? Like... <laughs> Yeah, man, imagine building an edifice, several of them even, that go untouched for a hundred years for your creation to find afterwards, for eight games straight. That would be fucking crazy. Okay, I take it all back. That is completely in Dr. Light's real house. You're, you're right. You, you, <laughs> you, you, you've actually completely turned me around. We're going to find a Dr. Light capsule at the end of this, and it'll be like... Yes. It, yeah, it, and then he gives uh, Mega Man the uh, Nova arm. No, no, it, it's just gonna be like X, and we're like, who? Like, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, wrong time. Sorry, man. sorry, the, uh, X, my son. <laughs> I, no, I, I'm, I'm completely turned around on it now. This rules. <laughs> like, we're we're just looking for the old, uh, for for the Doctor Light capsule. It's gotta be here somewhere. Yeah, this is how we get the Hadoken chip. Yeah, we did have Zero show up, um, and we have Colonel in this game, so, you know. That's at least something. We don't touch, uh, the X timeline stuff very much in Battle Network. It's kind of weird to me, honestly. Uh, it, it, yeah. it, it comes up, but, it, but it's not often. Network transmission is the closest that it usually comes. Alright, so here's the air conditioner. Are we talking about the... the net on this? Yeah, we had a Z-Saber, which got correctly changed to Z-Saber from Saver. Uh, Oh, right, there was also that guy who was two guys in Mega Man X5 who was called Lifesaver. Well, now I'm getting into Game 3 shit, and that's no good. <laughs> that, that's just a translation with... Yes. <laughs> Yeah, it makes sense we don't touch X stuff, but it's like, there's a lot of X stuff that, like, we, you know, just as, like, a source material sort of thing. Like, there's a lot that's there that you can still use. Um, and we just kind of don't. Make a jump, please. Whatever. Uh, yes, there was, like, uh, one of the members of your team in X5 that was introduced is called Lifesaver, and he is uh, completely inconsequential. The only thing that he does is that there are two of them. Hmm. Is it, like, the corner of the, the air conditioning spot? I wasn't aware there was a whole team of them. Yeah, I glad you're right. There is a reason that Cygnus and Alia are the only two members of that squad that uh, recur in all X Games past X5. I just miss a buddy. I must have just missed a buddy when I was going through here. But yeah, uh, Star Force is its own. It's honestly a lot its own thing. Um, in in a lot of ways. Oh hey, buddy. Long ago, I saw a dog-shaped program. 
Oh, oh my God, was Rush Doctor Light's dog? Yeah, it's got to be program. Yeah, Rush program. Okay. I thought when it said corner, it was the bottom corner. Dog is a shape. All right. Memory data. Gal loves fish. He can't let the big fish out of his sight. That's it. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, a line of thinking. If Rush happens in the anime age, the virus they adopt. Okay, but Slyo. We have to find General White. No, I'm thinking of um, the the Rush. As, Rush as a virus still works because Rush doesn't have to be. Um, Rush can still be a virus and still be cool and good. That's fine. That's not an issue. I'm just saying this current uh, this current quest line is uh, starting what? to smack of find General White. It's not all the way there, but it is starting to get there. Nah, here's the thing. This is get us to a new area. Okay. Because, like, we're going to End City now. Right? Alright. Look, I, the specter of General White when you do two fetch quests? Nah. General White ain't two fetch quests. General White is like... <laughs> like, like that, that's like you climb up a ladder and it has 20 rungs and you start humming Snake Eater. No. Mm-mm. Sorry. Snake Eater ladder goes for more than five seconds, right? Like, that's... I, I understand what you're getting at, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand <laughs> the fear. We're, the fear is the thing. Yeah, we're, 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 we're not even... Yeah, if only General White was two letters. And, <laughs> like, <laughs> you, you wish... We get back to the room where Dr. Light's uh, original program is, and it's just like Above five up. to six instances of he's still sawing logs. Try again. And city uh, net area is quite annoying. Um, anyway, it's known for Gargoyle Castle. What? Why does that have to have a letter cut off it? I have long ago stopped asking about the strange and arcane mastery of space constraint in Battle Network games. Yeah, I'm, I'm just... I don't know, I'm just... I'm, 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 like, normally it's 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 a... a, 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 a space constraint for um, eight characters, because that's a chip man, but this is... 13? Anyway, here we are. Mount Bellinus, the Shogun. <laughs> First thing you get off the subway is the replica katana store. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> like that's that's like five feet from the entrance. They know who they're who's, who's showing up here. Yeah. So this is yeah. Okay. We are extremely Edo region. Edo. Yes. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Reminds me of the people playing Gin Rummy. <laughs> In three? Yeah. <laughs> I love the, the, the Gin Rummy. Tiles. All right, what's it good to hear? <gasps> oh! Metagel, my beloved. Give Fennel. All right, um. You know what? We have folder two. Let's... 
You have to understand. I love the little slime. Like, this is my favorite chip in, in 3, because it's area steel, but cool. It's a good fucking chip, too. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So, Pulsar T. Asteroid T. Time Bomb T. Uh, we can't use this one. We can't. Neither of these are active. We don't have the. Because the, our current souls are. Um, grass. Piercing. Invis. Um, what's the. What's the fourth active? Um, not, not crack. Maybe it's just those three we have right now because we don't have, um, we don't have number soul yet. Yeah. Put in a copy damage, because I like having copy damage. Um... Alright, what else can we... So we have T, and that's half the folder. Let's, let's, let's find another code that could be fun to play with. You know? Because, like, we have S, and that's, like, a million chips, whatever. Um... Mm, turn it on. I think we were playing around with, like, trying to, uh... Build around Night Soul at one point. So that would be like things that have the like quake, right? Yes. All right. So P is doable. Also, lots of drills. M is M M isn't deep enough yet. We just we, like the only real chip we have in M is cannon. Cannon's good. It's just L is tornado, thunder, nothing else. Um, Cactaball. Cactaball. We get more drill arms. I'd, I'd be after that. Cactaball. Cactaball and H. Dark recover. Dark meteor. Football. Football. John Med. John Med. John Med. Cannon. All right, how about this? Do we have cubes? And then we're gonna go with fire hit and tank cannon. And we'll put in some of these quakes for us to use night. Uh, Seven. And then from there, we can fill this out with like I'll just put in like our our set of general navvies we end up using. We'd also like combine the um, the Met Gel and try, try to do more area steel stuff. Yeah.
The copy damage is what I like as just our starting chip. I don't have... Triple crank is up front. Okay. We'll go with this for now, and then, yep, equip folder. Okay, anyway, we are looking around dumpling computer. Ah! Also, I just think that, uh, Mang Man looks really cool with the Night Soul on. Yeah. <laughs> the confusion rules. <laughs> yeah, Night Soul's great. Alright, this has gotta be a goodie. was really fast. <laughs> they also didn't put an object out. Huh. Anyway. Time to call in the friends. Yeah. I love Metagel. Just call in the slimes. No, did he? Oh, okay, we already... I guess I, I guess I guess our one goodie is enough for a goodie. I'm getting greedy looking for a second goodie. Okay, I understand. Fine. All right, let's keep looking around this area. Oh, now it's Garg Castle. What do you got? Greg's probably around here, you're right. Oh! Yo! Okay, now we have Thank an entrance. Thank you! An entrance. Thank you! Time bomb. Okay. Nope. One more move from, please. All right. That'll save us a lot of time. Uh huh.
Okay. Is that day Higsby? Well, that doesn't mean anything, Mega Man. Just like, oh crap, ah, uh, I see the lines, uh-oh, something is going wrong. The cogs turn faster in his head than lands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, hey, hold on. Wait a minute. Yeah, no, I'm from Texas. That's how pine trees work. <laughs> I'm from Minnesota. That's what a pine tree looks like. <laughs> are, are these pine trees, too? Uh-huh. Just to eat your hamburger slot. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's like... I... <laughs> the entire place is hamburger land. <laughs> yeah. Well, come on. Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll take more of those. Looks like a freebie. Someone has illegally accessed the customs control system. It's funny that they bring up Miss Mari at all because we haven't touched the school. The school doesn't even exist in this game. Yeah. Oh no, the communication system in end area three. That's fucked up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm eleven. I can handle it. Well, this is this is land going. Yo, let me in. 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 Okay. <laughs> I don't look like much, but I know net battling. It's true. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Anyway, we have the nice pine trees. to terrorism so she had time to do other things. <laughs> Alright. Luckily, this is just, like, go through end area 3, so this will actually be a pretty short walk. We just need to go to the big castle uh, in this area. I th right there. I think we just have to get to that. actually a thing you see across a lot of different media within localizations um, is is like uh, in, uh, like especially this era of stuff uh, I'm thinking of like Final Fantasy uh, localizations uh, as a, a big example of like just not without full context you don't know that you're translating an already translated thing which is to say, yeah. like, 
we're, we're saying Miss Mariko for a character who in every other game is just Miss Mari. Because if you don't have that frame of reference, you just directly translate it and you don't know that there's a, a thing from before. There's a lot of references in 9 that just don't come across because they didn't know... Like, either, either, like the, the, it wasn't consistent to what the previous translations were. This this happens so much. Um, so, like... Oh, yeah, Cloud in the wheelchair going Xeno Gears. <laughs> well, not even that, because, like, 7 came way before that. Yeah, like, um, I, I'm thinking of, like, um... Five didn't have a translation, so we just call Shinryu something different. Or we don't realize we're making a, a, a direct uh, a reference to Morph, so we don't call it out as Morph. We call, we just completely drop all of the, the, the stuff that could be a reference uh, to stuff from Six. Things like that, where it's like, oh... Mm. Yeah, Nova Dragon. Yeah, you wouldn't know Nova Dragon's a reference because, again, with that one, at least. Oh my god, is this thing targeted? God damn. So. We need to get over to that building. The contemporary game to this would be 12. The... You you still have that issue, though. It doesn't go away. You you have to know what you're... you're, you're... Yeah. Uh, like, okay, how do, how do I... Um... Dragon Quest VIII would have been contemporary as to this then, right? And it's really easy within the... within those games to not recognize that you're making that something in the script was a reference to something previously. Um, Exodus, ex, yeah, that's a good one. A good, uh, uh, a, a, a good one there, Lucy, with, um, that's TA, uh, as well as 12. Uh, like, I don't know, it, you, you have to have the breadth of what you're doing within within a series to not like realize that you're doing that, you know what I mean? It's 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 tough. Yeah, in fairness, X Death did become memorable. Yeah. Anyway, th that that is all to say, um like Miss Mari not appearing in this game is probably the major reason that her name is translated in such a way. Yes, but Mari is Mariko in Japanese as well. That's the, the point I'm making. That's the literal point I'm making is that the tra is that the translation you you have to know what you were doing before in order to have things line up. If you made the the, the specific choice not to have anyway, anyway. Sorry, I'm getting into a a, a very deep hole that gets to me. I I'm, I'm, I'm just going to I'm, I'm leaving it. <laughs> I can't believe Number Man would do this. Oh well, it's probably fine. Number Man's cool and definitely wouldn't have done something. I think a lot about this because I think of different eras of Dragon Quest translations and localizations and the way that, like, small jokes don't get to come across across them in, in different layers because of the different styles of localizations at the time, early, middle, and late. Um, there's a running bit in those games, the, you know, uh, 
it's just a corpse which just basically wasn't noticed as a bit in a lot of the early translations so it it, it doesn't it wasn't important because it wasn't there like even though we use that that line in later ones it's it's not even in reference to anything in the earlier ones in the early localizations and that's different yeah. I can't drop it I'm sorry anyway let's let's go let's go take a look at this the, the nice gargoyles basic armor and helmet facts And a jacket port was also added, because why not? Hell yeah! <laughs> Here's our ancient... <laughs> this old suit of armor on display. Also, I don't know, we put a USB port in. <laughs> so do you think that, um... Do you think that if Battle Network had a game that took place, say, like 200 or 300 years ago, um, everybody would still be using PETs and net navis like the internet was always around. <laughs> um, no, but we would. I feel like it is just. This is a case of. They want to say that. Um, <laughs> like they want to say that Doctor Light invented the internet, but at the same time they want the internet to be like a parallel world that exists in conjunction with the real one. Uh, similar to just like, you know, like the world of the spirit realm or the nether world or whatnot. Yeah, and, and like, you know, in, in, um, Star Force, we have it, like, the, the net world in that game is just an AR overlay on the, on, you know, reality. Uh, yes. And in that game, like, several hundred years have passed, so the internet does get to have that, uh, story history. Oh my god. The little nose popping out of the bush. Vipris, that's Digimon you're describing. That's just Digimon. Okay. Many people are saying <laughs> you're just saying Digimon. Maybe I just want Digimon. Am I a fool? <laughs> Wow, these meteors also like uh, cracked panels. God damn. Mm. The anime does just make attention. Yes, some ver Yeah, yeah. There, there's a lot of different versions of it. Yeah. I, I think at this point it is easier to say that Dr. Light discovered the internet as a <laughs> developed it. No, you, we, we, we don't have ancient... We, 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 we don't have those setups, though. We don't have... Like, if we have... Well, okay, hold on. <laughs> we we don't we don't have like ancient internet. We do have five different layers of uh like old internet beast. Um because like we have um like the next game for instance is a is a big one there with 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 um Gregor falls are and what we find out with those. Dr. Light invented the internet, but it was also code of hell by ancient ruin builders. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, the game does kind of... Like, Battle Network as a series does kind of want to have it both ways. Well, it... It would like to. It doesn't use it the other way, though. It doesn't, like... Like, we're not fighting yet. We're not fighting a, an ancient samurai in, in the internet. Like, who I was is about from... to say, Battle Net. Yeah, we didn't get to Battle Network 7 where we fight <sighs> digital Izanagi. <laughs> Did somebody recognize us? Oh, oh, this helmet also has a check in for you. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
My duty is protect the helm data. There is something to be said about trying to make the uh, digital world a, a Digimon sort of thing where it's just like a parallel world that exists in conjunction with ours and that we interact with. But it's also the internet, so we kind of have to say that we made it and that it is a world that is subservient to our own. Oh, I, I missed the cube. Basically, I feel like Battle Network is uh, fine with playing fast and loose with the rules in that regard. Always has been. <laughs> Always has been. Why had a USB port? You know, it's for the data. Yeah. We need a spot for the data. Yeah, the an ancient internet is when you plug when you find like an, an iPod and plug it into the network. Sure. The katana was the samurai's soul. I mean, technically, they just used ah, those, and if you... It was probably katana, like what a net navy was to a net paddler. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> I was just saying, like, oh, well, technically, samurais use bows primarily as their weapon, and if you use a katana, you are fucking... Oh, wait, you're not listening. <laughs> no, 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 they, no. They, you, you don't understand. They, they use net navvies as their, their, as their soul. <laughs> Ah, the hilt has been replaced, and of course. <laughs> Man, all of this just goes to show I need to play Cyber Sleuth. I've heard nothing but good things about Cyber Sleuth. I need to play Cyber Sleuth. <laughs> My duty is to protect the, the data. Yeah, you did good. Good job, Mr. Prog. The Digimon Cybersmith game is the one you're talking about, right? The, yes. I don't know that there's a... Uh, there is uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth, that's the uh, JRPG. Mm -hmm. And um, there is Digimon Survive, which is the DM. Yeah, I, I, I think I own Cyber Sleeve, I just haven't played it because long RPG. Such is the curse of the backlog blight. Yeah. sure if Digimon trying to be SMT is what you're looking for. Well, good news, it is exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> that sounds right up my alley. I love the little nose that sticks out. Alright, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna mess you up with the power of infinite meteors. <laughs> God meteors <laughs> so good! Ugh. This chip rules, we need two more of them. I'm gonna have to go like I'm gonna have to like go get two more in the like. Hey, dude. Do you remember? Do you remember Stone Man? I do. Ooh. The original uh, meteors. I do. Well, the, the thing is, meteors like this. Is, sorry, I'm gonna grab three time bombs. Oh, apparently uh, Napalm Soul is the uh, best soul for meteors. Right, because that's a fire soul. Yep. 
Like, because, like, it, from what we've had before, that would have, like, a charge effect on, like, you can charge up a meteor. And also you can use uh, the dark ch chip. Dark meteor. Yeah. That's fine. We, we, I, we, we can merely have man. access to good meteor. I, I know that it is called meteor. Uh, just uh, heading back to Final Fantasy for a little bit, but, like, I do like the term meteor. Oh, yeah. Just like at, more like in a uh, classic sense, more like a super, uh, more like an uh, SN SNES term. Medio seems like, I don't know what it is. I, I just think that it rolls off the tongue fairly well as just like an arcane spell as opposed to meteor, which is like, oh, I know what that is. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking about like, Merton. Merton is a good one. <laughs> Merton's very funny to me. Merton. I love Merton. <laughs> Merton. Merton. People over the world love these katanas. Ah. Behold, Kafka, the most powerful fire spell in existence. Merton. I'm gonna. We're gonna get the said Goku era in here. Merton hard. A hologram. You must understand, the FF6 localization is beloved for a reason, and one of those reasons is Merton. <laughs> Merton sounds like a fake character from a Gormwood character. Yo. Fake name from a Gormwood character. Yo. Alright. Also, if you like, if you want to like uh, make it actually sound kind of slick, Merton. On the other hand, Valagamanda. Valagamanda. Yeah. The, the, the... the kids aren't gonna remember Valagamanda. Their tongues are gonna be twisted into knots trying to say it. Just say try talk. Nah, Valagamanda. Looks as though it can protect everything. Man, uh, hey, I know we love Record Keeper in this house, but it didn't make the best decisions when it came to localization. They used Orthros instead of Ultros. Didn't they use both? They tried. No, I mean, like, literally, like, in different spots, they used both. I want to say they just stuck to Orthros because they were limited to the most recent localization of six. Uh, wait, that's a jacket point? Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right, okay. Check into the, the Wind God comp. Hell yeah. <laughs> Didn't we already do this in four? <laughs> this painting may soon be declared a national treasure. Like we did definitely jack into a deity. <laughs> <laughs> that was the Water God comp. Right? That was the water. Yes. So, th so this is, this is the, the, the Fujin comp. And the, the, that was the the sewage in comp, and maybe we'll find, find Raijin comp? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> right, the song. Yeah, and then you have to fight the Ongeoki comp once you find the other three. And then it splits into multiple images. And you only know which one's the real one if you fight it during full Kagutsuchi. It's a fucking pain. <laughs> ah! <laughs> they, all, they all threw at me! <laughs> all three of them. What's a good in here? Spits out the hurricane attack. 
Okay. What? I'm just gonna like... I don't know, apparently Hurricane is good. I'm just gonna put this like here, and like... Yeah, 40 damage on a 2, that's 100% multi-hit. Maybe it's a hockey. I'm gonna assume it's a hockey. find it and then we're gonna see what it looks like there it is ready for some football all right i see okay <laughs> that's fun so you you throw it like a little puck and then it just goes whoosh 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 I lo you know, I love when that was called random meteors, and it extremely was never random. <laughs> so you have that center square that just hits eight times, yep. What is B? Hmm, B also has the wind rack. Okay. Yeah, it'd be good for uh, Cloud Man tech. Yeah, B also, like, could work with the cubes because of... Hold on, right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What if B is our secondary... Because we can then put in Blizzard. Also, I should go get Blizzard SP, I suppose, at some point. Jack into this man. Alright. Into the, the, the statue of a person. Oh! It's the homepage. Cool. loves being a samurai. <laughs> Alright. Do not forget. Blizzard Man is very fun. Oh, 
Oh, there's a, a board. Oh shit, the Master Sword? Oh, uh, <laughs> Joggy's here. All right. You can defend yourself against the Nebula. Uh, I, I just see the name Chagi and I start thinking uh, Fist of the North Star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just oh. keep thinking that this guy's about to take us for a ride. Uh, Goetsu, though, this is a... Uh, er, sorry. Like... Is it Koetsu? The one who we've seen before? Kostor. Yeah, Koetsu, I think, is the one we've seen before. All right, here's Master's Sword. <laughs> don't stand up to my Var Sword. I can adjust attacks for any situation. <laughs> All right. You thought you could defeat me with the Custom Sword, but your plan won't work. It's too stupid. Look at this input for Quarter Circle. <laughs> ah, I know all about uh, uh, combos with Rock Cube. I've been doing this. Uh-huh. Put the cube near enemy territory. And in my chest. How can I defeat Ninja? They're always infecting my web page. <laughs> Damn ninjas. <laughs> My webpage is full of ninjas. Don't be fooled, that message wasn't me! <laughs> <laughs> there was a ninja! <laughs> okay. Do you remember that part of uh, Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass where you had to climb up the fight tower where everyone was lying to you? <laughs> For those of you with advanced skills, you can slice with a sword the moment it shows up. Uh oh. What? Red fruit. When I use an ad, why the whole Ted Pond, you're making up things. <laughs> that can't be a thing. You must be a ninja. You're making shit up. <laughs> you don't even know how to use red fruit. <laughs> this is a this is an internet post. This is the most internet post. <laughs> uh, somebody asking for help with what what the hell is this for? And the first reply is, <laughs> "You idiot! You imbecile!" <laughs> you know the number inside the apple? Oh, yeah, everyone knows about the number inside your apple. It decreases each time the apple moves. I don't care for apples. <laughs> Hello, Boflex Help Hotline. <laughs> I, I I appear to be confused. The 
the forces of justice need my help. <laughs> I have learned. I have not mastered the secret of the uh, first raid. Yet. We are we already knew that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's all we're on. <laughs> ah, Medikit. Ah, Quaint. This is this is this is perfect. Oh, Medikit. Please refrain from flaming and posting silly messages. Also, don't you can't post anonymous. Post with proper Medikit. So the lost arts of the past right here. <laughs> Damn, this rules. Remember, do you remember when people signed their posts? My dad always uses drill arm to dig holes. <laughs> Hundreds of wrestlers are... <laughs> I guess six. <laughs> My bird path. Sorry, but there was a drill arm. <laughs> uh huh. I love the posting boards in these games so much. <laughs> no! Okay, it's fine. <laughs> uh, planned, actually. I thought the Met was gonna kill it, but it didn't do enough damage. Okay, we don't have the... Yeah, I, I really love the, the message boards and, like, the way they let you have a little bit more character uh, for some characters we don't even get to meet. Uh, hey, so, apropos of nothing, did you know that in Ocarina of Time the hookshot works on Goma? No, I did not. That's yeah, funny. man, if you Good happen damage. to be in a very weird, very weird situation where, uh, say, you don't have the bow, but you do have the hook shot, and you're an adult for whatever reason, yeah, it will stun Goma. You can do that. Okay, well. Hey, what's up? Now it's the monitoring network. Finally, get up enough to see the gargoyle. According to this, the gargoyles on the castle keep are a vital system that monitors the entire area. Now we're gonna have a. a this is where we had a the the, the live alive boss fight. <laughs> Oh, right, right, right. This was the ninja chapter, yeah? Yeah. Audio. Can't let Big Fish out of his sight. The data! We have stolen the fish data. Third ACDC, fourth square, there find the way to Oran. Open its center.
All right, I guess we gotta go to eight. Gargoyles. Yep, that's that's gargoyle. Wedged in the hole. Yeah, sure. All right. Well, so now we have to go to. We have to go back down. Yeah, technically correct gargoyle, just also big fish. Big fish. Speaking of big, this area is kind of deep. Alright. So I think we just need to go to like ACDC 3 was what that note said. But first, I have more important things to do. Hello. <laughs> I love these little stickers. I'm really gonna have to go get more meteors. <laughs> I don't have Yai's code? Was there just never an opportunity where she gave it to you? Oh, there we go. Thank you. Oh, okay. Also. this Campbell C Wop. this is why I was here though looks like there's new posts all right <laughs> um. Hmm. Who would do such a thing? Okay, and then ACDC freed. Here we go. Yeah, folders. Uh huh. Oh, like I can like look at the field again? Huh. Neat. I don't think I've ever I have never used that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
if, if you ever meet somebody who just talks forever, just just press B. <laughs> Walk away. <laughs> you gotta, Topo, you gotta be nice. You can't just skip everyone's text. <laughs> just thinking about that Pro ZD video about uh, skipping bo final boss dialogue. And he's just like, hey, that's very rude. You yeah. stop it. Motherfucker, <laughs> I will cut <laughs> your balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Press during event to skip past it. But be careful to not skip past anything important. <laughs> hey, Gates. Yeah, that's a cut. That's the cutscene skip. I used that a lot in four. That <laughs> had to skip because when I played through four second and third time, I did a lot of. Cut I can't scenes imagine skip. why you would need to. <laughs> oh. Everybody goes to the abandoned coal mine for a vacation. It rules. Hey, fellow teens, I hear the best place for us cool teens to hang out is the colossal <coughs> abandoned coal pit. Let's go, do not bring weapons! Don't miss the old by tour. <laughs> Dex just, Dex just like, yeah, it rules, you should come with, it'll be great. And yeah, it's like, uh, <laughs> no. Absolutely not. <laughs> I, I will talk with zero class. That is, I, you, I'm sorry. You want me to like, like capitalize punctuation on the internet? No, no dice. Not happening. <laughs> hey, hold on now. I'm actually thinking about this chip designer. Hmm. Like. Like, like, because I always think of battle chips as the thing that you, like, turn virus data into. They're not, like, like right. designed, but th I guess they're but also, But as it like, turns out, like, it could also be, like, things you could just straight up make. Yeah, yeah, both sides of it. You don't have to it. have... Gold hammer. Yeah, yeah, both sides of it. You don't have to have viruses be the middleman for the construction of battle chips. You could just, like, uh, make your own. Also, no, that Gates had horrible posting style to me, yeah. <laughs> That's why Aider was so good. I have an idea. Yeah, you, you know should make a Dex it? SV Giga chip. Yeah. Yeah, they know. You know why they called. You know why they called Doctor Gate a world class chip designer? Because he was always nightmare moving them around. <laughs> Doctor Gate. All right, I got my new uh, battle chip. Uh, it's. Uh, it's it's called Nightmare Mother. Um, very powerful. Uh, it just summons some cubes that float in circles, and you just can't dodge the shit because they're two by two. I found a <laughs> I found a gun in the dumpster labeled <laughs> Zero's Parts. Please return. Is this anything? Yeah, but Dex actually has like a cool has has the the cool uh, program advance. Oh God! Oh no, Noah! Please! Oh no, Noah! No, you, you gotta need stop. To stop, bud. You gotta stop. You gotta stop. You gotta stop. I put three cannons in. I gotta recover fifty. Is this anything? You sacrifice three chips to fate. <laughs> no, man, I just put in... I, I just put in ten pull tickets, and I pulled, like, you got a Elmot, and I'm just like, I'm good, thank you, and leave. I'm still sitting here thinking about gate, the Dr. Gate chips. <laughs> I, I use my Dr. Gate soul and I become completely invincible for no goddamn reason and cannot be damaged except for by my own attacks. It's like, <laughs> serenade wishes. I, I love 
how much they tried in Mega Man X6 to make Zero Robot Jesus. It's so fucking funny. Happy Easter, everybody. It's true. D robbery! Nebula probably wants to put an end to the digital world. Nebula's gonna bring back the home invasion. <laughs> what? Based on what exactly? Citation needed. <laughs> yeah, like, heck, I can't wait. <laughs> Gigolo is is Gigolo is so ready for the era of the homing pigeon. <laughs> Wait, didn't we have an intermediary step back before that? Well, fuck. No, 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 no. I, no, Gigolo just like loves homing pigeons. Like, look, I need the internet to shut down so that I can have all my homing pigeons do things. It's very cool. Yeah. Pigeon. I need my mail to take a shit on me and my inconveniences. I, are we still? Do we still live in the era where homing pigeon is still the uh, highest throughput rate on a uh, um, on on um, data? Well, considering how many ads they make everybody have to download in order to use any web page, probably. Well, I, I just mean like if you want to transfer, like, like five hundred gigabytes of data, like. I still think it's as fast as possible. Then you probably just like strap an SSD to a homing pigeon and go. All right, here you go. Yeah, you're like and that'll have higher through speed than like current internet download speed transfer speeds. Yeah, probably. No, oh, Dex is the other one with the board. Hold on. Because the 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 real problem is that like we could make uh, internet much faster and more efficient than currently is. The problem is we keep bloating it down with a whole bunch of like. Uh, other garbage because everybody's got to sell you something. Well, I, I I just literally mean on like transfer speed. Like I, I still and transfer speed, probably not. Like once we crack, you know, like the absolute uh, maximum capacity of the speed of light, then yeah, the <laughs> probably Jover. But you know, <laughs> I think a homing pigeon could be faster than the speed of light. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I'll have to read your thesis. On I, it. I, I, source, I posted it on the internet. <laughs> My sources, I made it the fuck up, Jack. <laughs> if you want to do a man in the middle attack on a pigeon, you need good aim. Mm. Alright. Get her a hero. In conclusion, the internet is real because birds are real. <laughs> How many boosters did you strap onto a homing pigeon? Mm. <laughs> it's just hang on. Raiden's got to go over to Sunny in order to strap a bunch of booster <laughs> rockets to a pigeon so that they could get over to Afghanistan at Mach 2000 or whatever the fuck. <laughs> One giant pigeon landing over in Pakistan. Just a, <laughs> we just have a, it, it's just a giant pigeon with a small pigeon inside. Oh, no, Rick! Oh, no. I customized him to a buff Navi. Ah. Yep, yeah, then battery point. Close. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm turning into a buff. Hey, look. Can Everybody's got stuff they're into. Give me two about. things. A, a bug? Actually, my navy <laughs> leaves a trail of cracks. Mr. Frog got mad at me. Oh no! You know, oh, actually, you're right. Crap. Having a robot bird would be Dr. Wily's vision. Yes. Oh, of the internet. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wait, so maybe the homing pigeon thing, Nebula, we're on to something about Nebula. 
The thing is, it's not even necessarily just that, because, like, uh, Wily didn't really have a, a vision of what the world would look like. He mostly had a vision of the world as not built by Dr. Light. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's step one. Dr. Light built the internet, ergo the internet must end in order for Wily to prove his oh. superiority over Light. Hmm. My navy seems a little bit, um, evil. <laughs> uh, hmm. You, uh, hmm. Dark chip. Use a dark chip. That's illegal. Your, Go to jail. Your navy's heart becomes tainted. It becomes an inhabitant of the underground world. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> not, not undernet, the underground world. <laughs> I've used dark chips too. They always come up with my what was the uh, What was the opening line in Tales of Fantasia when they're kicking Douse's ass for the first time? And if there Thou is... art have opened the gates to the underworld. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the indignation chant, but like, filtered through like, you know, it's the year 1992, and we, we have to have it voiced on a... <laughs> on a card. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> if there is evil in this world, it lurks in the hearts of men. I can never refuse. <laughs> His Man, I need to hey, you know what? Nine, 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 nine. You know what? Um, because Smite has been playing it, I, I really want to play Tales of Fantasia again, specifically the the PlayStation version. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, there's, there's a lot of Tales games, and they're, they're all pretty rad in different ways. <laughs> I don't know, I just think that the, uh, I, I'm pretty sure that the PlayStation version is just, like, straight up the best version overall. Yeah, because there's a PlayStation version, there's the GBA version, there's a SNES version, like, uh, I want to say there's one more update on, on Fantasia. Possibly. I'm I'm the big I'm the the biggest fan of Eternia. It, it, like Eternia is still one of my favorite video games of all time. I haven't I I I want to take another time to stream it because it's been like years since I last played it. It's now. been a while. It, like when I last played Eternia, it was me and Mike doing a two-player stream, and tech was like really bad for that at that time. That was like pre-parsec, pre. Uh, we, we had to do some really gnarly stuff to get the multiplayer to work. And, like, mm -hmm. nowadays it's, like, trivial to do that sort of thing comparatively. So. Anyone know how to beat that yellow submarine virus? I was just kind of thinking about it because, like, uh, GBA, uh, like, did have, like, all of the, uh, reworks and additional content but then it yep. is also just kind of like yeah well it, it, it has like you know less working space because it's a yes like like we're compare well, especially like control wise even uh, <laughs> i'm not surprised like, but, uh, for the most part <laughs> yeah, look I... for the most part like uh my understanding is uh the playstation version of fantasia still has all of that content but it also has a lot more space to work with. Thanks, and also, it's just, like, decent Japanese voice acting as opposed to, like, a weird, gnarly whoever was in the office that day, English dubs. I... Look, some sometimes you get some, some funky bits out of that. What the heck is that? But... You, you, I, I like it's mostly the it's mostly the intro line because then it's just like every time you fight it every time you win a victory with uh, Kles he's just like I did it. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> I still if, if if I remember right like most of the English voice cast for 
like, Eternia I still wasn't able to find credits for. Like, there's a couple of the folks on the game who were, like, voice actors who went on to do things. Um, and then some were just kind of, like, one and dones. Yeah, some, I, I don't even know who they were. Because, um, like, Reed's voice actor in that game also went on to do, like, Sly Cooper and a couple other uh, titles. Um, and, there, and there's a couple VAs that are, like, really notable, like, in those games. Thinking about, like, Chazelle's voice, voice actress. Uh, um, but, like, I don't know who any of them are. <laughs> yeah, TK Cat's thinking exactly the same thing. <laughs> so... Also, yeah, the uh, translation of uh, Ragnarok into Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Ah, Zaki style counter technique. We've seen a recent series of slashing incidents. What? A slashing samurai virus. If you encounter him, run away. Do not attempt to delete. Many net battlers have already fallen prey to He is a disgrace to the name of the samurai. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Mail's house actually has a bulletin board. I'm gonna check, but I, I, I don't think it did. Real Talk Fantasia had a lot of uh, neat ideas. Like, I do like the uh, concept of Plus and Mentor trying to figure out how to uh, get magic in order to fight Douse. And mm -hmm. uh, their lead turns out to be a normal guy because, like, uh, only people with elven blood can actually use magic. But he found a workaround by making packs with summon spirits, so he becomes your summoner. I think that's a really neat concept. And, like, that. A lot of the, 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 the ideas that Fantasia has are constant throughout other, other games in the series in, in a pretty big mm -hmm. way. That, that making packs with summons bit is a continuous thing in almost every Tales game, like, linking them together for ever. Like... <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, it's just like, it is like literally the first, wasn't it? Yeah, Fantasia is the, the first. Okay. Yeah, there's not. Okay, there's not a message board here. But one of the things that I think is uh, really neat that it did for the time is that um, it has a lot of variation on uh, how weapon types shake out with regards to uh, your basic moves and your arts. Because uh, you have slashing and piercing, and those two properties work very differently from each other. But then it also means that uh, Kles is able to equip swords, spears, and axes, and all of them behave differently yeah. from each other in practice. Yes, uh, that is also kept for a while. Um, that one sort of drops off as we get into later games. Tail streams once we finish Battle Network. Oh, look, I, I seriously want it. Like, I because I still have a Rise DLC to get to because I finished a I, I streamed a Rise. But we, I didn't do a Rise DLC. I've streamed Berseria, Zestiria, Eternia, and Vesperia. I think are the ones I've streamed. I would absolutely be down for just like a, a PSX uh, <laughs> Fantasia playthrough. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to Area 3 in this. That's all to say, yeah, I do more tail streaming, absolutely. But, I, but <laughs> yeah, 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 you, you, but if you, you you're talking to, but but if if, if you want to like see more of them, uh, I've got a lot of videos for you. Uh huh. Um, because the Eternia playthrough is multiplayer. The um, the Vesperia playthrough is on the remake. Uh, the. Vesperia, I never went back and did the uh, post game when I, I I was thinking about streaming the post game on that, but I, I never did. 
Uh, I think, like, that fell over, like, Magfest. I started Zestiria about two-thirds through, yes. There, there are just not, like, <laughs> videos of the first half of that game of me playing it. I just started streaming it, like, in the middle of the game with no context. And, like... Because, <laughs> like... Fortunately, you were playing Zestria, so yeah, it's fine. Wanna, like, who cares? Like, the context from the beginning of the game actually would have made it worse because the game lies to you. But whatever. Um, the not worse. You would have actually gotten to like meet some of the characters before Zestria has got problems. Um, but I did all. But that led to me streaming Berseria, and Berseria kicks ass. Um, okay, I am looking for. So let's check the key. We have a memo we... that tells us fourth square. I was saying like we could legitimately make um, PlayStation Fantasia multiplayer work because uh, I would just be uh, using whoever has the channeling ring equipped. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, I think it started one third three because I remember first chunk. From Steven Curry, no, part, not, not stream. Yeah, because like what happened was I I did like this water temple area and I was uh, just streaming it in Discord I think at the time showing it to, to friends and I thought to myself like why don't I just stream this and I was like well I'm already in the middle of it and the answer and then I was like well, why is that gonna stop me and so I just start I just started streaming it I'm like well whatever. <laughs> It was like halfway through. That's so interesting. If you don't know, Slyo loves the hell out of some Tables games. Yes. Yeah. Um, buddy, that yes. Hello. They're fine. <laughs> okay. Firing. Elemental Dungeons, Asteria, have good music? Yes, absolutely. But yeah, uh, the, I think the first thing on my list of, like, things I'd want to, um, do for Tales is, again, there's an Arise DLC, so, like... Right. And, like, Arise was... I think that describes a rise. Um, rise was. <laughs> wow, uh, glowing recommendation. It it it, it was. The, the... It was. It I've heard that Tales of Zillia Two also kind of was. That one is in a different way, to my understanding. Um, they're like. Tales series has a lot of ups and downs. Uh, the Zillia games are ones that I have a bit of a blind spot on because I literally, uh, I didn't own a console that could play them. Because uh, Zillia, Grace's F, Zillia, Zillia 2 were all PS3 only titles. Um, and that hasn't changed. <laughs> uh, Grace's F, I say, not Grace's, because Grace's was a Wii title. Um, but Zillia is not, like, when I say Arise was, it's, it's that it, like, it has some really awkward, um, it feels like multiple different games, <laughs> uh, and it plays very differently from any other Tales game gameplay last. Um, whereas Zillia 2 is, like, A Majora's Mask to an Ocarina of Time. 
Is that a good way to put it? Yeah, because I my understanding is Zillia 2 is just like um, a, a Chrono Cross sort of situation where you have like uh, parallel worlds and shit. Yo, another Mufra! To my understanding, yes. Though, again, Zillia 2, I am... Because of the, the, the console it exists on, I'm not terribly familiar with. Uh, I played Zillia 1, um, a chunk, but like, again, PS3. Right. Are they not on the... Are they not even on the... the uh, oh, here we are. Ember Smith, thank you very much uh, for the sub. Duh. We're gonna find a Dr. Light capsule in here. It's just a fucking door. Okay. <gasps> Perhaps we should wait on door until next time. Tales of Hearts and Tales of Graces, F, Tales of Assyria, and Zelda 2 all got taken off. Gotcha. But yeah, I, I, they're like, so I, like I said, I've, I've streamed Zestiria, Viseria, Rise, Vesperia, and Eternia, and that sounds like a lot, but there's still a very sizable chunk of the the different games, like, positives and, and, and negatives all over the place that I still haven't streamed. Uh, and ones I haven't even played, as I said, I haven't played Zillia. Um, uh, I never played Destiny to completion. Um, things like that. Uh, all is left on it now is the Symphonia remasters and then the Graces F and Zillia 2-pack scene. Alright, we probably should wait till door. It's a good time for Yeah, it's a good time too, to... Because it's like 15 minutes yeah. before closing. Yep, so this is a good thing to start up on next time is Unknown Door. So. Ugh. Anyway. That's gonna be it for today. Thank you all for joining for us going on about localizations and uh, uh, Moriarty and Tales games and uh, all sorts of odds and ends. So, yeah, thank you all for joining. Thank you, Vipris. Yeah, no yeah. problem. Uh, if you want to catch more, you can always follow so we go live. Um, subscribe. Thank you for those who did today. Um, Upcoming stream stuff, Dragon Warrior Wednesdays, Slate Spire on Fridays, uh, we had our big magic stuff over the last couple weeks, um, once the new magic set comes out in a couple weeks, that'll be on Tuesdays, um, and we should have some stuff starting back up on Thursdays as well, I think next week, so we'll see how that goes, I don't know, might be some Slate the Spire on Tuesday this next week, but normal 7 o'clock central time, alright. Anyway, thank you all for joining. Have a good night, everybody.